Well, everyone, you may have just picked up your 15-inch M2 MacBook Air, and you might be wondering some of the better tips and tricks that you should definitely check out when you're buying a MacBook like this one. Now, I will tell you, you've done a really good choice. This is a very, very good MacBook that I really do like. So let's go and show you a couple breakdown points of this specific MacBook. Now, the first thing I would recommend doing is keeping your MacBook, one of the best tricks, keep your MacBook in good condition, Clean off the display as often with you can, as you can. Get a microfiber cloth. Keep it in as good of condition as you can because these MacBooks will maintain their value for quite a bit of time and you can probably resell it in the future for even more money. Now, one of the first trick I kind of want to show you is one of the better ones. I love this one a lot and it's enabling dark mode on your MacBook. So what you want to do first is you want to make your way over to the top left corner of your, uh, you know, of your MacBook. You want to click on the Apple logo. And all you want to do is go and click on system settings. So click on system settings and you will come into this panel. Now the, sit, the settings panel looks very different than what it used to. But dark mode is one of those things that is pretty much still there. It's going to be basically the same way forever now. So go and click on appearance, which is right here. And then what you want to do is you can right here choose whether you want dark mode, light mode, or automatic mode. Now dark mode I think looks really nice you know, when you're going through and if you're actually using this MacBook on an everyday basis, or you can choose auto. And basically whatever time of day it is, it's going to automatically switch it from being on dark mode to light mode or vice versa, depending on the time. So that's a really, really cool thing that I actually really do like about this. Now, I actually do like being on light mode because it does kind of make things a little bit better and a little bit brighter. And I think it looks really good over camera. So I think that's something that stands out to me too. So definitely I would say light mode is probably the better way to go. You can also change the accent color and so many other things between your MacBook too. But that is by far one of my most favorite things to just get out of the way because it really makes your Mac stand out and it really probably will make it look a little bit better for a majority of people out there. Now, another thing I want every single person to do who's watching this video, one of the most important things you could ever do on any Mac is to basically go ahead and essentially update your Mac. So what you want to do, again, make your way back into your settings panel of your specific MacBook Air. You want to click on the top left. You can click on system settings to come right here. What you want to do is you want to go and click on general. Now, when you click on general, what you want to do here is you want to go and click on software update. Now, every single MacBook that comes out is already probably a little bit outdated. So even though I just bought this new MacBook, uh, there's already an update available. So what you want to do is you want to click on update now and you want to update this MacBook. There's already probably bug fixes, improvements. There's already speed improvements. There's probably already ways that this MacBook is better. And honestly, the battery life can improve quite a bit when you're actually going through and you're updating your MacBook. So just go through. You can even read more about this by clicking more info, Mac OS 13.4, yada, yada, yada. But if you click on the top left and if you click on about this Mac, you can see that currently I'm on version 13.3. So I'm already a point X version behind on my updates. So just go ahead, update your MacBook Air. And that's another way you can probably get more features, better battery life, better performance all throughout, and without even having to do anything. It's just a, a free update that you can install. So that's another massive thing I'd recommend doing as well. Now, another big thing is basically with the top right portion of our MacBook. Now, for this, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Now, when we're actually using our MacBook, let's say in the top right, you will see that we have a couple little toggles. We have a battery toggle, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, I don't think I've changed these, maybe I've added one. But if you click on the little control center panel down here, what you may not know is you can actually go ahead and drag and drop one of these toggles to the top portion right here. So if I wanna have, I don't even know if I can do this, but if I wanted to have an airdrop toggle up here, I can just drag and drop it right into that portion. So now if I ever want to airdrop anybody, I can just go ahead and turn this on and I can just enable airdrop. So I don't even know what's going on here, but essentially I have that type of capability now, which is really cool. Now I still have my Wi-Fi toggle here and Bluetooth toggle here, but if I wanted to, I could go ahead and delete them by just scrolling through and pretty much just, I think I could just drag them off of here or I could just whatever, but that's another option that you have is by going through and actually dragging and dropping these types of toggles from here and bringing them up here if you really want to. And if you, if you want to delete them, I'm sure there's a way to do it. I kind of forget to do it, but that's an option that you have, which is honestly very cool. So that's another thing I'd probably recommend thinking about as well. Now, another thing that I'd probably recommend a majority of people to do is to figure out focus modes. So focus modes are basically do not disturb modes, but they just, you know, have a little bit more, I guess, flexibility with them and they're a little bit cooler. So what you can do is come back into your specific, you know, control center up here and you want to click on focus mode, which is right up here. 
Now, focus mode, like I said, they allow you to go ahead and basically kind of customize things a little bit further. So go ahead and click on focus settings, which is right up there, and you will come into your focus mode panel. Now, here is where you can go ahead and kind of customize things a little bit further. So again, focus mode is a really, really cool thing. I like focus mode a lot. So what you can do is you can click add focus. So you can have all sorts of different focuses for custom ones, but you can do gaming. These are predetermined ones. Mindfulness, personal, reading, work, whatever it is. So if there's a gaming one, you can go ahead and set up a focus mode specifically for gaming. And like I said, this is basically like a do not disturb mode. So this is something that's really cool. And I actually like this specific thing a lot because it allows you to go ahead and enable, it basically allows you to have do not disturb mode all throughout your macOS experience. And it's honestly a really nice touch. And it does, I think, go in line with your iPhone as well, but you can turn that off within settings. So that's another thing I'd probably recommend thinking about as well because it's a really, really nice touch. Now, on top of that, another really cool thing I would probably recommend doing for a lot of people is to enable battery percentage in the top corner up here for your specific you know, Mac. So what you can do is if you have your battery toggle here, you can just go and click here and click battery settings. If you don't have it, you can click right up here in the top left corner, click on system settings. So what you can do is when you're in settings, you wanna go and just click on the search bar up here and you can just type in percent. So that's basically what I do. I just type in percent and you will see that show battery percentage in the menu bar is right here. So what you can do is you can go and click here and right in this control center panel, you wanna go and click on show battery where it says show percentage. You wanna go and enable it right there. So go and enable that and you will see that the battery percentage will then show up right next to this battery icon. I'm surprised this already doesn't come pre-enabled, but you basically have that type of capability here. So you can just enable the battery percentage and that's pretty much all you're going to have to do at this point as well, which is another really nice touch. Now on top of that, what you can do on top of this is you can go ahead and enable battery or low power mode. So this will save a lot of battery life from your specific Mac. It does decrease performance, but if you're in a pinch and you wanna save as much battery life as possible, you might as well enable it. So what you can do here is you can come inside of your settings panel of your specific MacBook. You could then go ahead and scroll down until you see battery. So just go and click on battery right here. And right here where it says a low power mode, all you're going to wanna to do is go ahead and tap right there where it says never, you wanna go ahead and have it basically as either always or only on battery. So if you're only on battery right now, you can just have it as only on battery. But if you want it always on, you can just tap or you know tap on the always button right there and that will basically come into this panel. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and you know basically you'll always be on low power mode. The performance should probably go down on your Mac, but your battery life will go up. So it's kind of a push and pull, but that's another cool feature that you have within your MacBook as well. And finally, the funny thing is, is that this last one I always show is probably one of the more important ones, but only when you're done using your Mac. When you're done using your Mac forever, let's say you wanna sell it or you wanna give it away or anything like that. First of all, I'd recommend making as many backups as possible. But two, if you actually wanna go ahead and get rid of your Mac, what you have the ability of doing with an M series MacBook, including this 15 inch MacBook Air, is you can actually just click on the top left corner of your MacBook right here, and you can actually just factory reset your MacBook by going into system settings right here. And you can even just click on system settings. And you can just even go on general settings right here. And you can click on transfer or reset iPhone or transfer reset MacBook, which is right here. And you have a very easy way of pretty much erasing all content and settings within your MacBook right here. All you wanna do is type in your username and password, and then it'll give you the same exact process of basically re basically just putting in the you know, information as your normal MacBook, like a MacBook you know, Air or MacBook Pro that's already on the M series of chipsets, just like on your 15 inch one. So that's another way to do it that I personally would recommend doing as soon as you're done using your MacBook. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.